Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, aka Steve, and we're back playing some Pokemon Diamond. Think I forgot about it? I didn't forget about it. It's been a little while, but we're playing again. Uh, we're in Florama Town. We just beat the uh, Valley Windworks place, and now we're gonna go ahead and just kind of explore and see what happens for the rest of the day. Oh, that's right. I got rid of uh, Onyx and Abra. So Onyx, actually, you're Pokemon Five. I don't know why you're in the sixth slot, and you're Pokemon Three. You're Poke. Oh. All right, all right, all right. I got these all confused. Live edits, guys. We do live edits. You're Pokemon 5. And now we're gonna go ahead and banish you. You're Pokemon 4, you're here. And you're Abra, you're Pokemon 3. And you're also vanished. All right. There's no point, you know, kind of rearranging those. So let's go ahead, let's go out there and let's, I, see, I did want to keep playing on a Friday to try to get a Drifloon, Drifblim, but we're gonna have to just kind of move on. Uh, we, have defeated Team Galactic out of that place with the windworks and the place with the, you know, with the balloons and the electricity and the guys with the Zubats and the Puchianas and shit like that. So we have our own Pachirisu, and I think mine is Intimidate, which is, no, it doesn't. My Luxio has Intimidate. We don't need to, uh, we don't need to fight this thing. I need to fight this thing at all. Guys, I am playing Pokemon again. It's obviously because you're here watching this. If you enjoy the video, please, guys, please leave a like on the videos. Uh, they help the channel grow. They show me that you, you give a shit and that you enjoy what you're watching. Yo, oh, uh, Gastrodon. I totally forgot this thing existed. How many of you guys thought you found a shiny the first time? I know I wasn't one of those because I got that guy when I was a young, young kid. I told this story many, many, many a time in my day. But when I got Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I remember I pre ordered it at uh, GameStop and it came out on a Sunday, April 22nd. I remember it came out on a Sunday. Because I remember calling my grandmother, I was camping at the time. I remember calling my grandmother on Sunday and I asked her to go pick it up for me. And she did, and it was waiting for me when I got home. And then I called a friend of mine when I got home and I was on the phone with him while I was playing it. Uh, because I was so amped that I was playing it. I'm like, dude, this is, the, this is so much better than we ever thought it was going to be. I remember watching videos on this game on YouTube before it even came out. Like in Japanese, get pumped for it. I think I told this before many times. I don't know who, if you guys have been around on YouTube for a while, you will know of a gentleman named Yuki Jaden Survives. Um, he played Pokemon Diamond and Pearl in Japanese before, so this is like this is 12 years ago now. He did some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. He was pretty big on YouTube back then. Uh, I found out a couple years ago that he actually lives like 20 minutes from me. So small world, man. Small world. Jaden survives. When I hear that name, I hear the Shadow Project, Zelda Master, Timmy. These are all names I haven't heard in forever. Jimmy three one four two eight guys. Just we're just throwing it back everywhere. I don't remember if he's a if he's a ground type or if he's a watered ground at this stage. So I'm going just to give him a bite. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. No, I'm not even close. Sorry, he's such a fucking monster. Can only mud sport me once, dude. All right, so let's throw a pokeball at him. I would like to add Shellos to this to the squad here. Uh, so Pokemon three, we are gonna actually change. I'm gonna, I'm already gonna assume, yeah. All right, so what number are you, Shellos? Oh, 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 sure, okay, okay, yep. Here I am, ready to add you to the party. Here I am, ready to make you a part of something you've never been a part of before, and you're just gonna throw that opportunity away. There's no need for that, there's no need for that. I'm trying to make you a better person. I'm trying to potentially get you into the Hall of Fame, and don't wild Pokemon. Go around just wondering when they're going to be in the Pokemon League Hall of Fame. Isn't that a dream of theirs as a young child? Isn't that what they want? Can you stop? Just get in the fucking Pokeball. Why is this such a difficult task for you, Shellos? Why do you want this to be such a problem? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to better your life. I'm trying to get you off of the streets. And I'm trying to make you a part of something bigger than you are. And you're just tossing. If I actually go through all my Pokeballs and don't catch this thing, you're gonna see a temper tantrum. You're gonna see an adult male, an almost 27 year old male, throw a temper tantrum. That's rare these days. Well, I guess with the age of social media and title man, Azure. Thank God, all right. So let's go ahead, we gotta find you on this list of sprites that I have. They're numbered, they're not named. So every time I go to find one, I just change the number to the name so I can easily find it again later. Where are you, Shellos? You should be around here. See, now I'm down to like Palkia and shit, so I went way too far. Ah, here you are. Please Pokemon number 422. Rename to Shellos. Dude, it's live edits. Mostly because in Premiere you can't, uh, you gotta copy, you can't like drag out an animation to repeat it. You have to copy and paste it and it's just not. Bam! There it is. Look at that. Oh, that looks like crap. Oh god, no. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. It looks terrible. There we go. I'm glad it uh, auto re resized it for me. Because that would have been awful. All right. Uh, no, no name. However, we're moving on now. We got a show us here. I'm very excited about that. God damn it. I'm trying to get, I'm just trying to get out of there. Can we just, another one. Another Shellos. It's level 8 though. We don't need to worry about that thing at all. I really love Pachirisu. What, I remember some guy in Worlds used Pachirisu. I think I uploaded a video on my channel of him doing that. Um, I, oh, it was Hitmontop. I think it was Hitmontop. He like dabbed with people hitting Hitmontop and stuff. It was great. Oh, here we go. Good. Let's get Pachirisu some lonely experience. It's a mountain here. You're dressed to you're Dude, you and like a thousand other people are dressed to hike. It's just absurd. Hiker Daniel. You're supposed to be a bug catcher, man. Come on. You're supposed to have preemptively predicted a drive success and knew that he was going to be a bug catcher. You're killing me, game. Your your lack of clairvoyance is really upsetting. And something I thought that you had the whole time. Turns out. I have too much faith in you. But Pachirisu's here. And now Turtwig's here. And now Judas could be a defense curl. Mud Sport, why not? It's one of the... They got some useless moves, man, I'm telling you. They got some useless moves. Good thing I'm, I'm a Turtwig and I have so much electricity. I mean, I guess it's, it's a great support move, maybe like in doubles if you have that in like a water type and they have an actual electric type, but... Yeah, you're just dead. You're absolutely dead and there's no way to come back from that. 85. Yeah, we are we are on the grind of well, sort of the level grind, I guess. Machop. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go into. I want to go into um, Starly there. I do, but I don't know if I'm gonna get the chance. I do want to get Shellus on levels though. I want Gastron on here. Uh you know what? I do. He's a ground type. He's a water type. He might he might serve me very well. My my. So we're gonna go ahead and use an item. That's gonna be a potion. That way you can come in on a potential... I don't want to get like crit by a card trap or something. Leer! Yeah, why not? Actually, you know what? It's probably the best that he's there anyway. Because he might have, at 7 HP, probably taken out a Starly with... I mean, I have two levels higher than you, but you're my chop and I don't have to get high physical defense. So, we are here. Hit him with a... Which one wing attack? It's going to be the dopest wing attack you've ever seen in your goddamn life. The, the dopest. Another Leer? What do you think? What are you trying to do? You trying to one-shot me, bud? I'm gonna one shot. This is this should do so much to you. It did everything to you. In fact, you had no chance. Cue Vince McMahon's music. I would, but I don't have that right now. Ah, oh, you're so close. Uh, Geo do another Geo. Yeah, we can just we can just alternate. We can go Pachirisu. We just this how you, this is how you, you help grow levels. You help the team out. I do miss experience, all though. I don't really miss the challenge level grinding in Pokemon games specifically. I might. Um, enjoy it more when a new game comes out because there'll be new Pokemon, but that's why I do like the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or uh, the Sun and Moon experience. All oh, I don't think Pokemon games are meant to be all that challenging. I think they're more kind of about the experience of playing the game and going through it, and then the end game, of course, of PvP. So I think that's kind of where the appeal lies these games. So, you know, but it, it does, it, it, I guess, you know, a challenge in the first time isn't that bad. It just makes the game a little more rewarding. I did enjoy actually in Sun and Moon when the Sun and Moon first came out the the trials. I did I, I did lose the trials a, a solid amount of times. The early ones because I wasn't quite prepared for the totem Pokemon and I was just kind of more enamored with the whole world and I was wrapped up with the entire experience and everything anything. But Pachirisu's level ten. Did he get a cool move? Nah, he's gonna get special. He's pretty fast. But doof, you I hate you so much. I mean, we're just, we, we are performing a strategy here. This chair is so squeaky. I hope you can't hear the squeak. Guys, remember that time, uh, the last video I made, I had the, uh, the, the beeping noise from my, I thought it was a smoke alarm. Turns out it wasn't, it was a door alarm and that the battery was died, so. I'd be very proud to know that I solved that problem myself. You don't hear anymore. I disassembled the whole thing. I took out the battery and, uh, way diff more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But, disassembled it and you have a electric type move, right? It doesn't matter. You know what? We're just going to. Try to get some Starlight some experience. Turtwig should be evolving at 18, I believe. It becomes Grottle, which is a stupid name. I mean, I don't know anything about turtles. It could very well, or tortoises. I'm not a biologist. I, also don't know. I think one of them swims, one of them doesn't swim. Probably whatever a Turtwig is obviously doesn't swim. Unless he's... Well, he's got the whole island on his back when he comes toward Terra. So he's probably a tortoise. 
So tortoises, I, I'm assuming tortoises don't swim, turtles do swim, based on the fact that Torterra means like earth, like the earth tortoise. Unless tortoises do swim, and the fact he's named Earth Tortoise is just to specify that he, he in fact, is one that doesn't swim. Not, I'm not a biologist, I don't know. I can easily look this stuff up, but right now we're doing more important things like leveling up Starlight. He's level 14 now. Shellos is... Hiker Daniel. All right, sorry, man. Refreshing battle that was. It was refreshing. It wasn't. It? Ah, yes! Starly, you are evolving. We are now changing you. Starly, to Staravia. Oh, uh, you're probably somewhere in the early, the early, late 300s. Oh, you're actually 397. There you are. Staravia. Yes! Staravia. I actually have Star after as well. Staravia, change that shit. Look at him flapping his mighty wings. Make you a tad, a tad larger. Just fly on my computer, get out of here. So we get. Oh, if, he, if he comes by me, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna get him. X attack. Useless items. Useless. Actually, I use these when they did the trials. So, I mean, not that useless. All right, let's get that off of there. We're fighting some trainers today, aren't we? Just gonna fight them all. Just fight them all. Just fight them all. Why not? I love Pokemon that smells sweet. I don't, you know what? That's a terrible way to open a conversation. Anytime someone says get a whiff of this, I imagine it's just the most rancid smell of all time. Aroma lady. Man, have other have other attributes that define you as a person. You're somebody that smells things? Come on. That's terrible. That's like you find though you find these people on the weird parts of the internet, and here you are just advertising that's what you are. No good. Star Avia, let's do it. You are designed ultimately to take out this Badoo. Yes, you are, indeed. And growth. Man, cool move in the sun. Weather. Great factor. Hit him with a wing attack. Hit him with a wing attack. There it is. And bada boom! Easy. Aroma lady. Get out of here with your weird smelling self. This is weird. Why would you want to. I mean, again, this is an older game and they. Uh, it, it was kind of cool, like back in you know when the first Pokemon Red and Blue came out, they had the trainers broken up by like Bug Catcher and stuff. That was kind of cool. You kind of like knew what you were getting at. Let's, you know, what are we doing here? We could go up there. Let's just keep fighting people. Let's do it. We got some time to kill still. So let's battle. That's a great reason to battle. There's a long way to go. I'm gonna make this journey even longer for you. Camper Zachary with a K and not an H. How did Zach? Oh, I was Zach. I, I get. I guess because Zachary. And then when they shorted it, it was just Zach, but like it sounds like it's Zach. It should be Zach. English is weird. Like my name is Stephen with a PH, but uh, I just say it's Steve with a V, even though there's no actual V in my name. Just hey, for now, I don't I don't want to be called Steph. Cause my name's not Steph, and thanks to Stephen Curry, people think my name is Stephen. And I I was called Stephanie by various substitute teachers back in my day because they just saw the PH and I'm like, oh yeah, no parent would name their kids Stephen with a PH. It makes a f sound, not a v sound. But because English is weird and doesn't have any real rules or make sense, Steven. So let's go by Steve. Just taking him out, easy. I do want, I would like to evolve Turtwig. It's probably not gonna, you know what, it might happen. You are, you have, because you have one Pokemon, you're holding that one Pokeball in your hands. That's why. You, you did it to yourself. Oh man, I'm missing out on so much, so much cool stuff. Here, we gotta go up here, fight this trainer, get that item, plant those berries. Yeah, let's just get those berries and we'll plant them again. I don't know, you tell me. You're the one that's standing here. I'm just passing by. I feel like if anyone would have that kind of information or, you know, be bestowed with that knowledge, it would be you. Shinx is really cool, though. I had a struggle trying to get Shinx. You guys, if you're watching this, you're, you're aware. It was a, it was a less than ideal. Uh, I do, again, we're going to Turtwig, then we get Turtwig to evolve, and then we get two evolutions in this video, that'd be kind of cool. I don't really know f what for, other than just it would be cool, but it would be cool. This is, you know, noteworthy things happening in a video, they, they do make these worth watching. Let's just, let's just hit him with a big fat razor leaf. Maybe we'll get him a crit. Man, the anime, I remember this, when these games came out, they were like revolutionary. They're, they're like two and a half dimensions, it was sick. SICK SHIT! Hit him with a spark. Hit him with, not very effective? That's right, because I'm um, grass, and grass doesn't connect electricity very well. Speaking of that, I gotta cut my grass. I got so much yard work to do at home, I gotta trim hedges, I gotta like, 
destroy bushes, but it's just been so fucking hot and humid lately that I don't want to do it. So my yard looks like trash right now. But you give me like four hours on a nice day and I will make that shit look pristine. I gotta like kill bushes. I gotta kill like weed, giant weed bushes. I cut them down once and then they grew back and I've been trying to, I've been wanting to cut them down again. But it's just been so miserable outside that I just have not wanted to go. Like I can't cut the grass if it's been like raining in just like dewy grass for two months. Because then the gra you cut the grass and you're not doing a good job and the grass is heavy and stops the lawnmower and then a lot of the grass bends instead of cutting and then you just gotta do it again in like a week or like two days. So I'm just gonna wait. My yard looks like trash for a little while. I'm gonna wait until it's all nice weather for like a day and knock it all out. That's what I'm gonna do. I understand you guys care so much about my yard work schedule. But, you know, nonetheless, here we are. Hit him with a spark, Pajarisu. That's what you're doing. That's me. I'm, hit, I'm being hit with a spark. I'm the one being hit with a spark, so I don't know what I'm doing. Hit him with a razor leaf. Hit him with a razor leaf. Yeah, this is doing nothing. Good lord. That's not, that, is, that is nothing. This is gonna be... Oh, because you're charming me. I'm not even paying attention. I'm sure worried about telling my stupid fucking cut the grass story. Hit him with a razor leaf. We are, right? I'm just gonna keep Jesus, man. But I want the experience. I think it's I think this is the enough experience for me to evolve Grottle or to begin a Grottle. So I'm trying to make that happen. I harshly felt. I need a crit though. This is a high crit move. That's why I've been using it, not because it's my best option without that, but yeah, I absorb. I think at this point absorb is better. And I'm gonna get some HP back anyway. So you hit me with a spark, it's fine. I think you absorb. This should put me over the edge. That's why I didn't switch out of Pokemon to get experience. I want to evolve you. Only you will make me feel so true. It's Captain Jack. Only you. DDR. Throwback. Oh, wow. Well, I was mistaken. I was mistaken. Quick attack. That's the better option. But I have actually higher defense than... So no, no option for you, Pachirisu. No option for you is a good one. You should do it. Finish it off! There it is. There it is. Come on. Give me the 18, baby. That should be 18. That should be 18. Give me that juice, son! Give me that juice. Or in this case, give me that bigger turtle. That's right. Picnicker Sienna. How'd you lose? Because you... I had a... Gra yes! Here it is! And on that evolution note, we are going to call it a video. But first things first. We're going to change your sprite. We're going to change your sprite to Grotto. It might, you might not even be called Grotto, but I'm gonna call you Grotto. I think you're called Grotto. Grotto dot gif or jif, however you pronounce it. All right, everybody. This ah, oh, he's so cool. This has been another episode of Pokemon Diamond. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I will see each and every one of you guys next time. Good night.